you're wanting to use the Avada Fusion slider for your WordPress website using the Avada theme, there's a little bit of a learning curve. It kind of takes some getting used to. So I'm going to show you how it's all set up, kind of give you an overview of things. So that way, when you go to build a slider for your website, you can do it quickly and easily. So that this slider right here, well, you can't really tell it's a slider unless we reload the page, and then you'll see this text animated kind of slides up. There's a button that links off to the contact page. And then we could add more slides here if we wanted to. Um, I like to just use this hero image where there's an image with text and a button. Tends to load a lot faster if there's not, you know, three or four or five slides in there. But if you want to add more slides, you definitely can. So the first way to edit the slider, if there's already a slider on the page, I'll just show you this real quick. I'm just going to open up to edit that page in a new tab. And you'll see this first block here. It says Avada slider. So from here, you can edit the slider, you can edit the slides, you can remove the slider. And to feature a slider on this page, you scroll down to the very bottom where it says sliders. And then you can choose if you want to use the Avada slider. And then you can choose which slider that you want to use here. So once you've selected the slider, then you can click update. And then that's going to actually add the slider to this page, which of course we already have the slider added to this page, so it's not really going to do anything. Uh, but that's how you'll actually add it to a page once you have it set up. Now, in the back end of your WordPress website, if you have Avada installed, when you hover over Avada, you'll see the option for sliders. When you click that, it'll bring you to the sliders page, where then you can see all the different sliders that are set up. So this one is the, the home page slider. So we click on that. Well, let's just go back real quick. To add a new one, you just enter the information here. So say we wanted to call this home page slider. We can set up a, a short code, enter the size, all the different information. You can these each have a description here so it'll tell you what each of these is for uh, and then you can click add slider and that will add the new slider here in the list and then you can click edit and this is just to edit the slider settings themselves so say uh, so this is set to 400 pixels tall so that's the height right here which i like to use 400 maybe 500 max because we don't want it to take up the whole uh, top of the page we want people to be able to see this text here um, this first bit of information that people can see is really important without having to scroll down so we don't want it to be you know all the way down the page here where then all they see is the slider and they don't see any of this other information so you can change that here uh, it's set to be 100% width which we want you can have it parallax, so that means the image stays in position when you scroll down. There's all sorts of different, like the slideshow speed, so that's how quickly it goes through the different slides. All sorts of different uh, stuff that you can edit here. And then once you have your slider set up, you'll actually need to add slides. And so you do that by hovering over sliders here and then clicking slides. So this second option here. And then we'll see the actual slides. You'll notice there's more slides than there are sliders. And that's because you can have multiple slides on each slider. So here's the home page slide. This is the one that we're seeing right here. So when we click to edit that, we'll see the text here. So that's this text, obviously. And you can choose to have it left justified, center, or right justified. You can have a separator, and then you can choose whether you want an H1, H2, H3, H4. I like to use H4 because we've got the H1 here, which I cover in a separate video if you want to look that up on my channel. Header tag, or header tag optimization. It's important for SEO, but nonetheless, you can choose the different H tags that we want for this main title here, as well as this secondary title right here. You can also choose the color of the text, whether you want it to have a background, 
all sorts of different stuff. You can add in a button. So this is the button that we have right here. Contact us today. So you can see this contact us today text right here. And then we have the link going off to the contact page itself. And then if you want, you could even have a video show up. So right now we have an image which is just set right here as the featured image. And yeah, you can see that that's this image right here. But if you wanted it to be a video, then you could have a self-hosted video, a YouTube video, or even a Vimeo video. And then the thing that throws most people off is you have to take this slide. See how it says edit slide here. So this slide with this text and the button and everything, and you have to actually connect it to the slider. So that's how you can add multiple slides to one slider. So we have the home, home slider here. So we can click this, click update, that'll add it to the home slider. Then we could add another slide and use different text, a different image, a different link with the button here, and then also add that to the home slide, home homepage slider. And then obviously you'd want to click update. And that's going to then create multiple slides that will, it'll slide through each of them in sequence uh, as, as we have it set. So right now it's set to, it's set to seven seconds. So basically every seven seconds it'll slide to the next slide. You can even choose what order you want the slides in, all sorts of different stuff. So I would just suggest creating a slider, attach it to a page, maybe even a page that uh, is just like a, a draft page and then that way you can test it out and see how it looks and then go ahead and take it live from there. So I hope you did find that video helpful. If there's anything you have questions about, feel free to drop them in the comments down below. I'll be sure to answer your questions there. And until next time, take care.